Hey, everybody, I just wanted to invite you to go on a trip with me. Now, this trip does not mean that we're going to get in a car or an airplane or in a bus or in a train. Uh, the church for the next 40 days is going to go on a journey. Um, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. I wanted to dress special today for it because it's a special time of year. Um, and I'm wearing this stole. It's purple. Can you see it purple? There you go. Um, because we are entering a new time in the church year, a new season, and we call it Lent. It lasts for 40 days, and it's about taking a journey, taking a journey with Jesus. So a journey, let's see, it's a long, long, long road, 40 days that will go together on this journey. And the Bible talks about this journey as being a time, among other things, when Jesus, let's see if you can guess where we are. You see what that is? Jesus began this journey by going out into the desert. And he was there by himself and he talked with God and he had some tests and it was kind of hard and he learned stuff when he was out in the desert. And then the whole time in this next 40 days, he was on his way to Jerusalem. Just draw a little town here. Jerusalem, among other things, he makes his way to the place where they're gonna put him on the cross. But in between our 40 days, when he invites you and me to travel with him, to think about that trip that he made all the way to uh, Jerusalem. So he's in the desert to begin with. Let's see what else is in the desert. He might find a snake in the desert every now and then. It says there were scary animals in the desert. Snakes still do plenty. But if it's, this is a trip, if we're going on a journey with Jesus, Maybe we ought to think about what we want to pack in a bag. So I was thinking about it. Let's make believe, and we kind of have to make believe, that for this journey, which we call the journey of Lent, L, say it with me when you see it, E, M, T, it looks backwards on the camera. I wonder if it's backwards on the camera. Anyway, it's Lent. We have to think about packing a suitcase for this journey. And what are we going to take? And what are we not going to take in that backpack, in that suitcase? Lent is a time when we think about things we might give up, things we might not take with us, and things that we might um, decide to take with us. So people, you'll often hear family, and you might want to talk about this as a family, things you might want to give up. Sometimes people give up. Let's see if you guess what this is. Sweets. My daughter, when she was little, she gave up blue M&Ms. That was what she did for Lent. Don't tell her I told you. Um, we might give up. Oh, this is a hard one for people of all ages. We might give up all the time that we spend on our cell phones or on our computer and just unplug a little bit. That might be a way we observe Lent. One of the things we might do in Lent is figure out how we can stop saying or thinking mean things about people. How can we just be kinder and not say and give up? saying mean things about other people, which I think all of us probably do once in a while. So those are things you might not take on this trip of Lent. There's some things you might want to take on this trip of Lent. You might want to figure out some way of getting to know God better. And one of the ways is by reading Bible. Now, maybe your family can set aside a time in Lent that you're just going to decide each day to read a few minutes of, of the Bible, a few minutes of a story about Jesus. You might want to, because we live in a time, oh, breaks my heart. When too many people are hungry, too many people in our world don't have enough food. 
you might want to figure out a way during Lent that you can take on the possibility of helping somebody who's hungry. All of it is just a way of saying you might want to take on a way of showing love to other people. You might want to just put all those things, scripture, helping others, showing love, right in that suitcase that you take with you in the season of Lent. It's a beautiful season. It's a time for thinking about things. It's a time for figuring out what direction you're going in as you take this journey. And it ends, as we'll, uh, we'll find out, it ends with Holy Week, with Good Friday when Jesus goes on the cross. And then right after that, oh, it's so awesome. And right after that, we read about Easter morning when Jesus raised, is raised from the dead on that, on that beautiful morning. So um, take this journey with me. Figure out how you and your family, what you might not include in your suitcase, and what you decide you might want to take on in this holy season. Amen.